This is Cybert signing into Kane's Wrath on the map. Pipeline Nightmares for a 1v1. We'll go over the differences of this map and the traditional pipeline problems in just a moment. But let's go ahead and introduce this guy in the North Plain Green Plain Zocom. This is Bike Rush Owns. And in the South as the Red Steel Talons. This is Space. Base and bike rush playing a decent amount together, 1v1s, 2v2s, and we get to see this new map here. We've got, ooh, a lot of rifles coming out from Bike Rush Owns. Now, a little bit confusing here. Bike Rush Owns typically is a red-colored player, and Space, uh, I don't know, I feel like Space plays maybe a lot of green or something. I don't know, but, like, having Space as red and both of them playing GDI sub-factions just is going to feel a little bit odd. So, pipeline problems. We have got the same Tib Spike Mutant Hovel there on the right edge of the map. You may have already noticed that this is a night-themed map for one thing, but also the EMP Control Center has been moved over here to the left instead of being on the high ground here, where there is now a contested Tiberium Spike, and Bike Rush Owns was able to capture that. Then instead of having a fully grown blue field over here to the left, you have just a pocket natural expansion and actually a surprisingly cut off and choked up natural expansion. Most naturals are very open and uh, this one is very closed off by comparison. There is a contested third green field half grown in the middle of the map and then you do have sort of a personal blue field over where the second or third field, depending on how you want to count it, on the old map, or on the original version of the map, used to be. So, you've got access to a good bit of Tiberium on this map. You know, if you count this blue field, even though it's only partially grown, it uh, really does pretty much count as a third field. Power Plant taking a bit of damage here. Bike Rush owns winning the first little tussle, getting this Tib Spike, getting the scout off on his opponent. Space hasn't quite been able to see exactly what Bike Rush is up to. Now, this is one of those maps where building placement here might be very important. We'll see how much natural expansion harassment factors into this game. Could be one of those things where getting your refinery placements correct here ends up doing about 80% of the work for you, and then a watchtower or two does the rest of it. Of course, if you're playing up against a Nod faction, then this could actually be quite a dangerous natural expansion. Fast teching to some one clicks could be really potent on this map. We saw Bike Rashon sneaking out a load of Blue Tiberium earlier. Looks like he was just a smidge early, is going to miss out on a full load of Blue Tiberium, but it'll mostly be worth his time. Space may be a little bit slower on grabbing up that Blue Tiberium, might actually end up being better timing for him overall. Pitbulls sneaking by somewhere. There were Pitbulls somewhere on this map, I know it, but they uh, they seem to have disappeared. I don't have Master Leaf's fancy uh, minimap colors. Instead, I just have the old regular minimap. Pitbull's going to be taking some shots. Looks like Space will be able to guard against this relatively well. He's losing some mining time, but ultimately it looks like it's just going to be a trade-out. Pretty close one-to-one -one for Bike Rush Owns and Space. There was an engineer that popped on out, and uh, I thought it was going to jump inside of an APC, but it was actually a harvester coming out from that war factory. It looks like Bike Rush Owns... Is he really going to do it? Oh, he might actually do it. Bike Rush Owns going to be going for the mutant hovel. He doesn't send that inside of an APC. I assumed that was, uh, that was a miss rally, but no, he actually did send it there into the mutant hovel. A couple of uh, pit bulls skirting out to the right side of the map. Bike Rush owns all powered up on two bases, getting himself some... I don't know, what is he getting? Is it going to be Orca's Hammerheads? Maybe it's going to be Firehawk since he just got the Tech Center. Either way, a couple of uh, air units coming out here for Bike Rush Owns. 
Command post feels a little bit slower, but maybe it was just because he skipped the airfield from space and he went straight for the tech center. So it might have actually been basically the same time. Traditionally, I'd say great split on the refineries here. I mean, in this case, it doesn't matter so much because there's no one clicks. And ooh, we get an MCV popping on out for space. We get double airfields with the uh, modded... Uh, uh, well, not really modded, but with the texture pack headlamps on them, on the hammerheads. And this is actually going to be, oh, these are rockets and mutants coming out into these hammerheads. So a couple of these hammerheads, Zocom hammerheads, all loaded up with their ceramic armor, with their APM, with their rocket troopers. And we even got some Firehawks as well. So they've already got Stratofighter. They are ready to go. And Bike Rush Owns is happy to play this on two bases, at least for a little while. The MCV will be spotted here in the middle of the map. Space is going to have a good idea, or Bike Rush Owns, rather, is going to have a good idea about space. Now, Space already has tungsten shells. Not a bad idea. He knows he's up against Zocom. So getting the tungsten shells, you know, you could call it somewhat blindly, but it really isn't all that blind of a play. I mean, you're going against Zocom. Aircraft is going to be a feature even if it was just GDI. Bike Rush Owns manages to steal a load of Blue Tiberium from space. Is he actually going to be able to safely return? The Hammerheads might be able to distract these pit bulls, and indeed they're going to catch a couple of pit bulls out in the open. That ceramic armor allowing two of those Hammerheads to survive. Low health though they may be, they survive nonetheless. And more Mutant Marauders waiting by. Actually, some of these Mutant Marauders might... Can Mutant Marauders jump into a Marv? I'm not actually sure if they can. It may be one of those things that uh, they actually can't get in the Marv. There isn't, like, an attachment for them. I'm not 100% sure. That might be a Master Leaf question more than anything. But Bike Rush Owns has additional Mutant Marauders standing by on the ground waiting. And uh, Scan reveals, I think, nothing for space there as I think he just barely missed the MCV. He was expecting to see a base and an MCV waiting there, which he's got behemoths ready to go as soon as Bike Rush Owns deploys. But uh, Zone Raiders trying to harass this expansion a little bit here. Looks like Watchtowers will shut that down for the most part. Bike Rush Owns getting in a couple of Zone Trooper, Zone Raider drop pods and may actually end up going for the EMP control center. He's clearing out the left side of the map one reason or another. Orca Strike coming in, trying to hit the behemoths. It might end up just hitting the pit bulls. No refineries on the front line, and these pit bulls will go down if they don't move. They do evade that Zorka Strike very nicely, and the Marv will get to work marvesting this field. Space may still end up dropping a refinery here, even though he's going to Marvist up a big chunk of this field. Four Zone Raiders inside of this Marv. Extreme firepower, a ton of just damage output, if not a lot of health. Lots of damage, if nothing else, but that's something that uh, Bike Rush Owns is willing to trade off on, I guess. He's hoping for just sheer damage output. Supersonic Airstrike clips one of those hammerheads. The rest of them get chased away by the slingshots. Tungsten Shell doing so much damage, but another Harvester does manage to escape for Bike Rush Owns. It looks like he's going to be cleaning up some of that blue Tiberium in the northern section of the map. Bike Rush Owns doing a pretty good job of harvesting away Space's blue Tiberium, keeping that relatively low. Space still doesn't have a refinery here on the front lines. For one reason or another, he has decided to skip that as an option. Maybe he thinks it'll just get bombed out of existence the moment it gets deployed, but he's happy to harvest that field. EMP Control Center was captured by Bike Rush Owns, so he might be waiting for that as his only way of sort of breaking through the, uh, the next phase of this game. Bike Rush Owns trying to play this out a little bit like a meme, but... Space playing this out much more traditionally. Let's see if Bike Rush Owns is able to uh, find the winning move. Hammerheads are getting close, and oh, those slingshots so ready to waste these hammerheads. Only one hammerhead goes down, though. It looks like all the rest of them will be able to escape. Bike Rush Owns doesn't have a whole lot of cash left, I should think. A couple of scouting rifleman squads getting called in here for space, possibly just to fly over and see what they can see. Possibly that those were actually uh, reinforcements that just got trapped 
by Bike Rush's waiting rocket troopers. S keeps around the double airfield. Bike Rush Jones not really producing anything from either airfield, but he keeps them around at least for the current moment. Zorka airstrike comes in, clips two of the power plants, some nice damage done there, but there is enough tungsten shells spread throughout this base that space is relatively safe. Bike Rush Jones could technically find a path uh, kind of over on the right side of the map, but it would be a pretty slim chance of finding a real opportunity to do some damage. Bike Rashone's losing a couple of harvesters. Another AA battery gets deployed. Bike Rashone's going to try and cut in here with some infantry forces. Loses one more hammerhead, a couple more right on the edge of damage there. A couple of Wolverines going down. Bike Rashone's rushes in with the hammerheads and pulls out slingshots the heroes here crushing just so many rocket squads the wolverines clearing up the rest of them and that's one nice thing about this back entrance to the high ground is you can sneak up there space seven minutes on the clock for the ion cannon as he decides that is his way to break this stalemate break the lock that is that is in this game laser fence on the ion cannon right out of the gate and three slingshots still remain. Harvester for Bike Rush Owens is going to try and go for a bit of that Tiberium, but it's not quite going to work out as that behemoth is keeping a watch over the field. EMP must be getting close to ready to go for Bike Rush Owens. Meanwhile, Bike Rush Owens has had this tip spike for quite some time, but it looks like it eventually is going to get cleaned up here. Defensive tower doing a little bit of damage to the Marv of space. Slingshots catching these hammerheads. Another couple of hammerheads going down. The infantry getting crushed, and the slingshots escape for now. Four slingshots. Such a powerful anti-air force, and the hammerheads are going to juke back past them, heading north to escape, at least for the current moment. Bike Rush owns and Space with a uh, definitely goofy sort of build order on this map. Space, I guess, a little more traditional, but Space, even so, willing to play this one out very slow and steady, not wanting to play into Bike Rush's hand and playing this out extremely defensive. So many AA batteries, so many more AA batteries than we would normally see. It almost makes me feel like these guys have been playing for a little while and sort of talking in between matches, maybe even on Discord while they're playing this particular game, and they might just be memeing amongst themselves. Slingshot comes in, goes for some crushes, maybe even causes some friendly fire there as some splash damage. Zone Raiders catch the EMP slingshots as two of them go down, a third gets eliminated, and Bike Rush Owens is going to lose almost every single Zone Raider there, but at the same time, he also engineers the Tib Spike and cleans that up. Bike Rush Owens flies, it looks like, directly over the AA batteries of space and bike rush owns it looks like lost almost every single hammerhead there maybe he has some sneaking around the map somewhere but he uh he just doesn't have much firehawks coming in here for space cleaning up a power plant cleaning up the space command uplink space starting to make some strides against bike rush owns and bike rush owns still playing the meme game long distance mind control of your opponent's tip spike via an airlifted engineer you do what you can. It's so funny that he airlifted an engineer over there to uh, to go for the kill. That's not a commando. That's a single mutant marauder who is just going to be running around the map. And uh, there's going to be the kill of that mutant marauder. Scan goes down. Bike Rush owns moving in with a big infantry army, but two additional watchtowers get deployed. And Bike Rush owns is bringing in the armor here on the right side. The Marv is so far away from this fight. Space just needs to hold the line. His Firehawks returning from another bombing run, but there's going to be the EMP on the Marv. Bike Rush owns is going to have to deal with his own shockwave artillery crashing into his Marv as Space locks it down. Behemoth's going down as the Predators hunt them one by one. The Marv shows its rear armor to the Rocket Squads as the Behemoths get cleaned up, but Bike Rush owns his Marv is only down to half health. A big chunk of it taken as the Behemoths close in, but the Predators are finding their mark, and every single Behemoth going down, the Marv from Bike Rush owns barely surviving as even without any kind of railguns or heavy armor, 
Bike Rush owns cutting it through the artillery of space. Meanwhile, barely holding on with his own marv. The Hammerheads were the distraction. They were not the victory force. More and more Firehawk bombing runs from space as Bike Rush owns is unable to deal with that artillery of space. That airborne bombardment. The Predator tanks will get off one last shot, clearing up yet another behemoth and the mar barely hanging on with four zone raiders inside of it the damage potential is awesome but the healing potential is minimal he's gonna have to reverse move away from the front line space's front line has been broken bike rush owns is gonna harvest his way out of this situation and just barely holding on to enough firepower to keep the attack up a couple more <laughs> predator tanks coming forward to hunt down the husks of the behemoths two minutes and 10 seconds on the clock as space is looking to hold on to hope in this game firehawks returning from yet another bombing run almost everything of bike rush owns has been bombed out of existence he's got one war factory still on the field this marv trying desperately to get some extra value for bike rush owns the predator tank barely uh, surviving against this Grenadier, but also the Grenadier finally going down. Bike Rush owns with the infantry reinforcements. The Muty Boys are on the field. The Mutant Marauders moving to the front line as that is the one production facility that Space did not account for. He's bombed out of almost everything else. Bike Rush owns has the Marv, but no way to heal it. I could drive all the way back to this war factory, but that is not going to happen. And his MCV isn't even being rebuilt. He's just sticking with what he's got. Firehawks coming out to make another bombing run. They're just going to absorb a bunch of shots. Hopefully these hammerheads can do something as space remaxes on entirely riflemen and rocket squads. A couple of in in grenadier squads in here as well, but no EMPs for space. One minute left on the ion cannon, and Bike Rush Owns is here to finish the job. But the Marv is so low on health. The Hammerhead's orbiting around it, trying to find the weakest areas and the one spot that they can make it. No, they barely don't get it. As Bike Rush owns, Marv survives to start pounding away at the Ion Cannon. There's the sell-off. Space's last hope falls as Bike Rush owns closes in. Mutant Marauders rocket squads joining forces against the fair few remaining forces of space. The behemoths holding on. The Marv is going to have to retreat. Bike Rush owns doesn't want to risk it, but space has n almost nothing left. The Marv is such a powerful anchor point for Bike Rush owns, and he's got that EMP as well clicking away, ready to go once again. The War Factory. Uh, maybe the last bastion of strength for Bike Rush Owns. Those two Tib Spikes, again, continuing to just click away for Bike Rush Owns. The income is actually okay with the Marv going away, with the Marv going on that center field and a couple of Harvesters bringing in bits of cash here and there. Bike Rush Owns actually could, uh, could get a good bit of Tiberium from over here. Hammerhead's stopping to uh, attack that EMP control center. you got to be careful. Anytime you uh, keep air units still, there is a chance that uh, the EMP will rain down upon them and kill them off. Engineer gets sniped. I'm not sure what that engineer was doing. A power plant going to get targeted down. A good choice by space. Bike Rush owns is already pretty strapped for infrastructure. He's got an MCV out so he can do some rebuilding. The APC's hunting down one of the hammerheads. No ceramic armor means that these hammerheads... Ooh, there's the move, and Bike Rush owns predicted where that hammerhead would be, but he guessed wrong. The Marv has nearly made it back to the war factory. Bike Rush owns has this one play. Space is going to try and rebuild, but Space in the last couple of minutes has just lost so, so much. Riflemen, hammerheads, a titan and a behemoth, almost nothing in terms of income. So little cash left on the field for Space. He could just try and long distance mine, but that is a dangerous place to try and go into the middle of the map. Bike Rush owns has a mutant and a rifleman inside of a couple of these foxholes, just keeping an eye on the center of the map. 
But Groshon's powered down one of those refineries. That may actually turn out to be a pretty fortuitous thing if he's able to save one of them, but not the other. Obviously, if he can save both, that's better. Did not sell that one off, so he, he let it absorb the maximum amount of damage. The APCs really need to keep that guy alive. The Marv, not quite back up to quarter health, but getting close. That Harvester stealing a lot of the Blue Tiberium. Space, I think, has really let the Blue Tiberium slip this game. We'll see if he's able to get up a refinery, get up any kind of reasonable income. Right now, there's so little Tiberium close to his refineries that every single load of Tiberium just takes forever. Bike Rush owns, on the other hand, had the Marv chewing away at that center field, had the Harvesters stealing the blue Tiberium, has had these two Tiberium sp spikes clicking away for this whole time. Bike Rush owns, perhaps trying to get back up to an airfield. I'm not sure what the... Maybe he just wants anti-air. Yeah, it might be entirely... Ooh, he even gets himself a rig so that he can have that mobile repair. Two AAA batteries get established. The Harvester goes down, but another one is there to replace it. And again, even if the Harvesters get eliminated, Bike Rush owns still has the Marv. He still has the Tib Spikes. And until those go down... Bike Rush Owns is not actually out of this game. He's still got that, that consistent income, as little as it may be. The Rig and the War Factory both repairing this Marv. Going to get it back up to full health relatively soon. And that Marv is double vet, ready to go. Bike Rush Owns scans, and he generally is going to like what he sees until a refinery is over here or maybe even over here or space starts harvesting this blue tiberium which he's flown over several times with his hammerheads he must he must have an idea that that's a decent amount of cash waiting for him but until space gets some kind of consistent income it's going to be hard for him to actually build an army that can kill a marv the thing about bike rush owns keeping the marv alive even you know the war factory surviving the many many bombing runs of space is that he has this anchoring point, and now that he's got a rig, even though the Marv has no engineers inside of it, he can still repair it out on the field. He's got that extra utility. Bike Rush Owns has rebuilt so much infrastructure that he's actually got a decent amount of coverage of AA batteries. APCs loading up into transports, and Bike Rush Owns is now going to have a mobile attacking force. So he's got his own hammerheads of sorts. Oh, a combat engineer. Now that is an interesting thing to take note of. Bikroshone sees the ox transport. He's going to have some kind of idea that there might be something sneaky inside of it. What are you going to stick in an ox transport? As <laughs> mutants, marauders inside of the APCs are going to target down the hammerheads. And Mike Rush owns using the mutant marauders as uh, killed the morale of space. As space taps out of the game, GG is called. And Mike Rush owns takes it in uh, a pretty funny fashion <laughs> with this, the killing blow be mutant marauders inside of airlifted APCs. <laughs> Not something you see very often. That will do it for this game. What a weird one. Definitely a bit of a slow dip in the middle, but look at that. Bike Rush owns staying consistently ahead on the income, and then right wherever space starts to flatline is where that big attack happened, and from that point on, Bike Rush owns just keeps increasing his lead slow but steady, and space just had almost nothing coming in. Otherwise, Space could have rebuilt, and he might have actually had an army to beat the Marv. But it was not so. It was not meant to be. And that will do it for this game, for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And this is Cybert, signing out.